Hey guys, it's Christy. I'm back with another reaction. This one is for The 100, Season 6, Episode 7, Nevermind. Uh, as always, I'm looking forward to the episode. I think this has been a great season. I don't have much to say except that I'm excited to see what um, Clark is up to in terms of like what type of space she's in, um, in her mind, in, I guess, her mind, but Josephine's mind too. I don't know how it works. Um, and how she's going to figure out a way to get out of that space and retake over her body. So I'm curious about that. And I'm curious about what's going to be going on with Josephine and Murphy and just the whole gang now that they realize that Josephine has taken over Clark's body. So let's go into the episode. I'm the commander. Aww. Listen, focus between the raindrops. Heartbeat. Heartbeat. I'm still alive. I don't understand. Am I dreaming? No. We're just in your subconscious. There are no answers for you here, Clark. Go on. Go figure this out. I guess we're going to see her memory hopping to figure it out. This should be fun. Like, revisiting old scenes, old seasons. And it makes sense that the first person that she, her mind would seek out would be her dad. I wonder where she's going next. Oh, Legis. What the hell is going on? I really, really hope we get to see Lexa. I don't think we will because of Alicia and Debnam Carrie being um, elsewhere. Oh, we do get to see. Oh, wait. Is that Allie or... Hello, Clark. I guess it's not Becca. I thought we were going to no. see Becca. But we're seeing Allie. I pulled the kill switch. I destroyed you. I may be gone, but this precious repository of your memories is here. Because of me, you're welcome. The neural mesh is still in my head. It must have interfered with the drug they used to wipe my mind. Correct. You exist because of me. But you won't if they figure out how you freed Raven. We have made the trip, but only in Raven and Mom. If I were you, and in a way I am, I'd keep this memory. What the hell? Clark Griffin. It's nice to meet what? you. I've heard so many things. Most of them murdery, but, you know, no judgment. Josephine? In the flesh. But you shouldn't have opened that door. This body's not big enough for both of us. That's so weird. Is she going to remember that? Is this real? It. It's been hundreds of years since a mind wipe failed. This isn't bad. Not as organized as my mind space, of course, but mildly impressive. Oh, so she's been aware for the mind whole time? Space? You've been through this before? Yeah, there were a few mishaps. She got jacked into some people's minds while the lights were still on. What happened? What the f Then they died. Brain hemorrhaging leads to stroke, and we all fall down. How did you even survive? You just want to know so you can figure out how to get rid of Duh. me. Why can't you just find a new body and give mine back? I kind of like your body. <gasps> You're a sociopath. Judgy. Besides, like you're one to talk. Eventually, we'll both die anyway. The difference is, I'll be reborn in someone else, tell my father what happened, and he'll kick your people out to die in the woods. <laughs> go float yourself. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> it means that I'm not telling you anything. Go fuck yourself. And I don't go down easy. You're selfish. Your mind space contains all your memories, so try not to think of where you keep them. Hello. No, no, I like how she changes clothes Sharing with his face. Like child abuse dressed up as protection. <laughs> Are you hiding a memory from me, Clark? Rude. You'll never find it. 
I bet you have it on you right now. Don't fight for gonna lose. Oh. Or not. What happens if she kills her mind? Like if she kills this Joseph me, what happens? Oh. What the fuck? Did she just like stand up and start over? <laughs> oh, come on. My mind drive backs up my consciousness. I can't die in the mind space. But you can. The answer. Unless whatever flute kept you here can bring you back. You, my friend, are playing for keeps. Wow. What an episode. I think, how long are we even in? Hold on a minute here. It's only 14 minutes and it's already like craziness. What are you doing here? You wrote me off. Conclave at Tom DC. I get it. I really thought you cared about Bellamy. I care about both of you. But you Married left him in the to die anyway. I yeah. had to. You're too afraid to face him because you know he thinks you're a monster who will abandon anyone. That is not who I am. I don't know why you're arguing with me, Clark. <laughs> I'm just a subconscious projection of you. Warden. Help me. That'll happen. <laughs> Even your projections hate you, Clark. <laughs> Not weather. Oh, who's that? Is it Maya? It looked like the person wasn't wearing a top, though. Oh no, it's Maya. Maya? Oh, oh. hi, Clark. No, I don't want this. I don't want any of this. That's the thing, Clark. Some part of you does want this. Why are you fighting so hard? to stay alive. You've killed more people than you've saved. Do you realize that? You like being the savior. You yeah, like she really hates God. herself, huh? You're not so different from the props, wow. you know? You, uh, you have a little something. <laughs> She's such a bitch. She hid it in the cave. Are you kidding me? Your projections are the best. Thank you, Melty Girl. Melty Girl, that's so nice mean. Nice parking spot. <laughs> You have no control here. This is my mind space. Okay, what's your plan here? Stall until I wake up? I'll just try again, night after night. You can't win, so why bother? To make sure you lose. Me, I'll find a way to survive. I always do. Things were different, we could have been friends. Yeah, no. But I'm bored now. Hey, Clark, I may not be able to create anything in your mind space, but I can sure bring something in. Can Clark not go into Josephine's face? She just said that she shouldn't. But does that mean that she actually can? She should. She should try. Aw, oh, look at this chair. Let me guess. All of this is guilt for the deaths you've caused, but everything you did was to save your people. I'd do the same thing. A ringing endorsement. The thing I don't get is why you don't care about saving your people now. What you're doing right now leads to the genocide of your people, which I guess is par for the course with you. I just want to live. Do you, though? Your people are safe. Elamy made sure of it. I mean, he took your death hard, sure, but he knew the only thing a leader could do was to strike a deal for peace. Why? Elamy would never make a deal like that. It's not a trick. I don't play that way. I'll take your deal, because it's the smart play. That's the move she would make. I don't, that's not what he said, was it? I can't remember now. I'm gonna have to go back and watch. That's terrible. It was just last week and I, I can't remember. Okay. By Jesus my Christ, word, your Christine. people will be safe. Don't do it. Tell Maddie I love her. Is she really gonna do it? You forgot Bellamy and Raven. So what memory would she pick to go spend the rest of her time in, I wonder? She's choosing to just throw up. Monty? Oh, Christopher Larkin! Yay! You call this doing better? Giving up isn't better. Maybe you could have come to live. Before it's all for my people. Monty? I've heard that before, Clark. I mean, I know it's not Melanie Monty. I know already it's Clark's mind, but still. Keeps them all Maybe this could have it's happened about being before she the good guys. The yeah, that deal means our side gets to live, but at what cost? It's too late. Josephine already has the memory. 
As soon as she wakes up, she'll know how Go to keep me Go into her memory space. Go into her mind space. We'll see about that. Yeah. Thank you. What's she gonna do? Kill you? Mm -hmm. And she's awake, so you can roam around. I definitely want to see all this. This girl is fucked up. 230 years of memory. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, she's still asleep? I thought she was awake. Why did I think she was awake? I mean, we saw her sleeping, but for some reason I thought she had already woken up. I guess she just left, so it didn't mean she woke up. Look, this must be where she keeps her primary Special wounds. collection? She said they create a physical response. We could control my body from there. Bonnie, let's take a minute. <laughs> Find out who she is while I get this open. You can admit it, Josephine. You have a fixation. And she'll miss your first body. This Jojo's is really getting me tonight. Is it? Hmm. Oh my goodness. That's a cross of threat. You've never hurt anyone. He defied oblation. The nulls are muddying the bloodline without oblation. We go extinct. How? You helped me spread the word. I'm getting bored. Why the hell did you drug me? So they believed this was an accident. Let go of me. Oh. What the fuck? She touched Did you think baby? I wouldn't notice my offering is going missing? You are less than useless. You dilute the bloodline, you make it less likely that anyone would bear a host. We could be so much more. We could do so much more. That argument would carry a lot more weight. If you weren't delivering soldiers to our enemies. Miss Gabriel, his latest toast must be 95 by now. Why should this child be sacrificed? He's done nothing. She's such an evil person. Holy hell. And is Don't the baby really attached to the tree? Your spirit shall live eternal. Jesus Christ, who is this bitch? Crime and What, what right. twisted Josephine's mind? Remember. Like, what made her like that? Nice place. Does that mean you're not going on your little secret family project? I told them no. I was just looking for you at the water rationing process. Too many people, you know. I still think you're too good for me, huh? Stop toying with me and just admit what you are. I mean, I tried. Calls, texts. You know, being thoughtful, what do I get? Message received, you stuck up bitch. You don't want to see me. You can see this. Oh my god! What the fuck? This is the thing that she couldn't face. No wonder she changed her mind about leaving. Faster. Talk to Riker about a work schedule and you need a detail about 50 of your own people. <gasps> Clark! Nice! Bellamy, are we agreed? Yeah. We're good. For now. Ooh, her nose is great. So anytime Clark does something, her nose is gonna bleed? That's a notification. This will go on with the transfer. You could say that. Remember when Pike taught us Morse code? Josephine was tapping out Morse code on her arm. What does it mean? It means Clark's alive. And we're gonna get her back. Yeah, baby! Woo! Okay! Man! This season is just... I say... Oh, let me get these out. I say this after every episode, I feel like, this season, but... It's just gotten so good. I like that we finally got, like, we finally get to see Clark, like actual Clark again, and go through the memories and have all those reminders of past seasons. I love that they had her hair and her clothes, like, her look match what it looked like in those scenes. So, like, she would walk room to room and she would change just by walking into that memory. That was awesome. Um, 
I, just great episode. I loved it. I loved it. And I'm so curious about the next episode, like if what what they're going to do to prevent Josephine from using the EMP to get rid of Clark completely, like how they're going to be able to stop her um, and what's going to happen. So can't wait for next week. So, okay. What did you guys think of the episode? Um, make sure to put it in the comments and let me know. And again, a reminder, if you're watching this on Christy Finley channel, this is the last time that you'll see this episode or see an episode of the 100 on this channel. All my reaction videos have moved over to Christy and Cal Reacts. You'll see a, um, a link to that channel in the description, in the pinned comment. And um, when my face, <laughs> my face pops up here, if you click on it, that'll subscribe you to the channel and the playlist that'll come up in this general area. I feel like Vanna White, I don't know how to do it. Anyway, um, the playlist for the 100 episodes that pops up here will also lead you to the playlist on the new site. So again, if you wanna keep watching my videos, which I hope you do, and um, then you gotta go over there to see them. And if you're watching this on Christy and Cal React already, thank you so much for following me over to this channel. I truly appreciate that so much because I know it's a pain in the rear to have to do that. And I appreciate you following me and doing that. It does mean a lot to me. So again, thank you for watching. Comment below with your thoughts on the episode and what you think is going to happen next. And I hope you all have a lovely week. Bye-bye.